doing now? Same thing they've been doing for over an hour. Nothing. Everett's going to try to hold her hand. No, she took it away. Where are they now? Over by the goldfish bowl. That's a romantic spot. No bragging, Mary. But if it hadn't been for me, we wouldn't have beat Notre Dame. No? No. You know, in the last quarter, I carried the ball six times and made five touchdowns. <laughs> what happened the other time? Well, I was on the one-yard line when the whistle blew. Everett, you're wonderful. Uh, do you really think so? You've been telling me for weeks. Hello. Who? What? Is that Jimmy Jones again? No, you have the wrong number. Was that Jimmy? No, uh, somebody got the wrong number. What do you have to do to get your girl on the telephone, Jimmy? Get your father away from it. Here, slip me another buck for the nickels, will you, pal? Okay. Can't you see the Cadillac, the beautiful homes? Everett has everything. Everything but personality. I suppose Jimmy Jones has personality. You bet, and plenty of it. But you can't live on it. Jimmy and I can. But I can't. Oh, Ma, she's defying me. Oh, my gas. Oh, my gas. Oh, all right, <sighs> Dad, all right. Oh. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Mr. Ford, this is Jimmy again. Okay, Pop. You'll have to hang up just 18 more times. Hey, Jimmy, here's your boat. She's all ready. That's great. Take it down to the California Yacht Club. Okay. I'd like to... If you don't stop ringing this phone, I'll... Is that for me? No, uh, somebody got the wrong number. I'll straighten it out. Hello, Jimmy. Here's a surprise I've been promising you. I bought a boat. Jimmy's just bought a yacht, and he wants us to spend the weekend on it. <laughs> I'd love to, Jimmy, but Mother and Dad want to go to the Meadowbrook Polo Club. Oh, uh, uh, Daddy just said he'd love to go. Mm-hmm. Where? The California Yacht Club? All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Wait till the high hat winter bottoms hear about this. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Ford. It's the winter bottom. Oh, let me talk to her. Oh, Mrs. Winterbottom, what do you think? We just heard that your daughter's friend, Mr. Jones, has a new yacht. Oh, yes, sir. Jimmy did buy a yacht, uh, and we're spending the weekend on it. Oh, that's too bad. We'd planned on having you spend the weekend with us. That's sweet of you, uh, but why not join us on the yacht? It worked. She's inviting us. We'd love to. Ask anybody you like. There'll be plenty of room. Oh, I'm sure we'll have a lovely trip. Thank you, dear. Goodbye. George, a yacht trip. Don't tell me those winter bottoms don't listen in on our party line. Let them listen. Oh, think of what we might get if we had a poor party line. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rush my dress suit to the cleaners. You better put five pounds of mothballs in this closet. Why, well, that's enough to kill all the moths in the world. Well, we've got them. And you only wore it once. Twice. Twice? Once for the fitting and once at our wedding. And look at it now. They must not like suspenders. <laughs> Caught napping. Now, 
kissing. <laughs> <laughs> that your new car? Uh, no, that's Everett's. I asked him to come along with us. Why? Well, we had to have a big car so we'd have room for the winter bottoms. What are winter bottoms? People, swells, society. Shh, here they come now. That's Count Topini with them, a big foreign diplomat. Oh, <laughs> come on, Mary. I promised to ride with Jimmy. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> now you'll need a can opener or a handle that won't break. <laughs> Morning, sir. What's the name? Uh, Mr. James J. Jones, Jr. Your card. I'm a new member. Your yacht? The Shamrock. The Shamrock? Why, that's a mighty fine craft, sir. Yes, sir, here it is, the James Jones, Jr. Sorry, sir, but your application for membership was rejected. Uh, maybe I forgot to enclose the check. Oh, Undoubtedly. Oh, anyway, you can't take a boat ride in a clubhouse. Come on, Jimmy, let's get the yacht. Okay, Pop. <laughs> there she is. Boy, she's a beauty. Hey, Everett? Yeah. Glad you like it. You ought to put a canvas on the tender to keep the birds out of it. Tender? That's my boat. Oh, I see. The little one goes with the big one. No, no. That's the shamrock. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> it's no <laughs> laughing matter. I paid sixteen fifty for this cap just to ride in that. <laughs> they must have saw you coming. I only paid twenty-five dollars for the boat. They give me the cap. I hope Jimmy hurries. Oh, oh we oh, have a rain tonight. Yes, yes, Laurie, yes. my... Oh. Hello, Mother. Lucky I got here in time. Oh, Charles, uh, you don't mind if my son joins us. That's quite all right. The more, the merrier. That's what I thought. Hey, gang, come on. Oh, that must be Jimmy trying to signal us. A count, uh, can you make a noise like a whistle? <laughs> <laughs> this is the first yacht I ever saw where the guests had to be engineers. <laughs> well, be careful, Mr. Mr. Ford. You've got the bar too far retarded. The whole darn motor's too far retarded. Wait a minute, I'll show you. Oh, I know how to do this. There you are. I don't... Oh, no! Oh. Go! Go! Who took the potato off that spout? <laughs> That's what happens when two oil cans get together. Yeah. Let me try it again, Mr. Ford. I know how to start it. I saw a guy do it once. Well, you'd better send for him. <laughs> oh. Now look what you've done. Why, I've got... Sixteen fifty for a cap just to give a seagull a ride. I say, say, maybe you're out of gas. I never thought of that. Now I suppose we'll have to take the motor apart. Oh, well, let's do something. I wonder what's keeping them. That's what I've been wondering myself. Everyone's wondering. Five yachts have come and gone since we started waiting. Say, listen, I've swum this harbor back and forth in less time than we've spent waiting here. No doubt. But you didn't have to start a big dose of engine. Oh, uh, you mean diesel engine. Well, diesel, diesel, damsel, that we are still waiting. Here comes the boat now. Maybe that's it. <laughs> There, that's the last piece. Everything seems to be all right. Then why take it apart? It is my boat I'd have had a run in hours ago. Yes, I would. I got it. No, I got it. 
The gas line was plugged up. That's the first part you took off. Well, everything's hotsy totsy now. All we gotta do is put it back together. Yeah. That'll be another year's work. How about an optimist? What a mess. Well, I wash my hands of the whole thing. Now we'll have to pump out the boat. Well, all right, all right. Here. Oh, no. What a swell trip this turned out to be. Now, yeah. let's go home. Hey, listen, who ate all those pork sandwiches? Oh. Ah, please. Hey, do you know how this happened? Huh? Uh, no, I have the least idea. Yeah? Well, I have. I never had anything like this happen to me before in my life. That looks like the shamrock. They all have for the last two hours. If this one passes a by, I'm a passing out. Hey, I'll be right back. Okay, Jimmy, come on. Don't let him go. Hurry, get the good water. He's a beauty. Isn't it wonderful? That's a shorty work. Come on. Uh, any special vintage? No spinach, just champagne. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Silverstein. Hello, Joe. How are you? You have a very gay party on your boat today. Huh? What's gay about them? But the rest of them. They're drinking champagne in front of the club dock. <laughs> Who are they? I don't know. Come on, Mama. Diggins, who are these people drinking up my champagne? Why, your guests, sir. My guests? I never saw them before in all my life. Who invited them? Didn't you, sir? Certainly not. Last Sunday, didn't I tell you to just be Mama, and me, and the Lefkoviches? Does that look like the Lefkoviches? I don't know, sir. I never saw the Lefkoviches. Well, here they are. Take a good look. They probably have the wrong boat. Oh. <laughs> yes, uh, you're intruding. The ferry is two blocks down. Then you better take the ferry. This is my boat. I thought it was too good to be true. Here's the sandwiches in the carburetor. Oh, thanks. There you are, Mr. Ford. Well, I hope it's better than the boat. I certainly hope so. Uh, just as I expected. Ham on rye. And you know how much I love white bread. Ah, quit your crabbing and hand me a wrench. Oh, all right, all right. Well, rye or not, I'm starving.
What did you draw? Mine tastes like seagull. Did you make this sandwich yourself? No, I ordered it especially for you. Horseshoe tobacco. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I never was yes. so humiliated in my life. Well, what do you think of the rest of us? Is that the shamrock? That is what it say on the prow. But it's nothing to be proud of. Oh, oh come on. Let's go and swim. Yeah. Just get in here and you won't have to swim. <laughs> I think it's cute. Jimmy, I'll go riding with you soon as you get the motor started. By that time, you'll be an old lady with gray hair. I didn't know your husband was a natural dad. Neither did I. He's been keeping it a secret. Out. If I wanted to break my neck, I'd have had a better time playing polo. Why did you ever buy this galloping rowboat? I wanted to make a hit with Mary. Oh, oh. Jimmy, you're wonderful. And so is the boat. Swell. Get in. Okay. They're both nuts. And so is the boat. All right, hang on. 